In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create here these tiny grid lines here instead of having the standard long grid line to the very top. We're going to make them short like this. So let's look how to add short grid lines on the X scales in Chart.js. So the first thing what we're going to do here is of course get, go to Chart.js3.com getting started, this specific link here, which you can find in the description box, and we're going to get the default code. So let's grab the default code immediately. Copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, watch this video here that explains it all. Paste it all in there, then I will cut out this, alright, put it in there, save, refresh. Now we have a bar chart. What I want to do now is I want to remove these default grid lines here. So to do that, I'm going to scroll down here, and then I'm going to say here on the scales, I'm going to say X, because I want to focus on the X scale, and then we will say here grid. And for the grid lines, we say a display equals false. Save, refresh, there we are. So now we have this. So the next thing what I want to do here is to have the uh, item, the lines here at the very top. So how do we do that? So let's go here, uh, let's search. We're going to create a plugin, comma, say here plugins. And I'm going to say here, you can give it a proper name and maybe what a good name is short, grid lines, copy that, and create the plugin here. So we'll say here this will be the plugin block, and then we'll say constant, short grid lines, and then we'll say ID, the short grid lines, comma, and then what we're going to do here is the drawing time, and in this case I want the drawing time before the data sets has been drawn at that moment. Or before that, we will draw the grid line. So I'm going to say here, before data sets draw, then I'm going to use your arguments, and there are three specific arguments here, or parameters, which are all objects. Chart, arcs, and you can use your plugin options. Although I won't be using these two here, so it doesn't matter so much. So what I'm going to do here now is constant, but a constant, and we're going to do here a what we call a uh, object destructuring. So we're going to say here const, and we say here equal, uh, sorry, not equal, code base is equal chart. Because we're going to destructure this object. If you want to understand what this truly means, I highly recommend you to watch in my description box the video. There's a link to a video understanding object destructuring. So once we have this, what I want to do here is I want to draw. So I need CTX. I will be needing the chart area, and specifically, I'll be using the bottom. And next, I need to have the scales, and we can say here scales will be X and Y. So X and Y, there we are. Once we have this, we can now start to draw. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say a ctx.save to save all variables above. And then we're going to say a ctx.begin. Path. And the reason I'm doing this is to avoid any other objects. I'm saying here basically in Canvas, the drawing I'm going to make now is not connected to any other objects that is already on Chart.js or on the Canvas. So now I'm going to say here the line width. So I'm going to say a CTX dot line width, and the line width will be how many pixels? Let's say here one pixel. Then what I need to do here is the color. So I'm going to use here the color, and these are basically line colors, so we're going to call them stroke. Well, well, they are called stroke, so we say stroke, and then uh, stroke style for the border line, so basically the line color, and stroke basically refers to canvas, and in canvas is a painting term, so if you use a paintbrush, we call that a paintbrush stroke, that's why we have here the stroke line, so that's the same term they're using here. So in here, I'm going to use a color, and we can use a default color, and the default color is RGBA, 102 comma 102 comma 102 and then here 0 0.2 if I'm not mistaken Save this refresh and of course you won't see it, but it will be slightly light very similar to this here That's the color that we're using Enter now what I want to do here is I want to start drawing the item and What I really want to do is I need to figure out Like here the starting point here starting point all the way to here so that would mean I don't want here and the beginning should be uh, should be excluded from it. So this is very important. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm just going to do console log. I'm going to show you what variable we need. 
to get the pixel coordinates just to be here. This is very important. So in here, I'm going to use the X, and the X is basically the scale reference here. If I save this, refresh, open up developer tab, you will see here we get all of these items. And this is basically the scale itself, specifically the X scale. But if we look here, we need here most likely the ticks, or we have here somewhere the tick coordinates, grid line items. This is probably the one we need. There we are. You can see here, these are all the variables for drawing it. And this 27.5 is basically, let me refresh this. All right, so the chart will fit nicely. Go back here. Uh, where are we? There you are. You can see here all of these values here. So you might get confused. This 27.5 is the starting point that's basically this grid here. Because you can see there are an array of eight items. So here should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's a length of eight starting at index zero. So you can see index zero, and then we have here, and oh, you can see here even the color of the tick, which is zero, 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 comma, zero point one. Interesting. So I, I guess we can just get that one. Anyway, we have here this, the TX1. And then what we basically need here is this variable, the TX1, but not on the first one, because the first one has this here. Same as the last one. If we go down here, we see here, do we have that? Well, I don't see anything else more. So that's acceptable, I guess. Uh, and that one, that one is fine. So that will mean that the first one needs to be skipped and everything else should be added. And let's see later on if we have this, if this would be drawn as well. So I'm going to grab this one here or more specifically, we can get that one, but from index number one instead of index zero, but we need this TX one. How do we get there? From underscore grid line items. So let's say a dot underscore grid line items i'm not sure if they are capitalized let's check grid capital l for lines and then items with an s and capital i so that's correct then we can say here index let's say index one then we say dot tx one save refresh now i get 102 which is correct because if i would do this it should be 27.5 there we are so this tells us basically the starting point here and then what we want to do is we want to go up here how many pixels we can define that but what i will do now for us just for the sake of it i'll just take here the tick and i will be here number one on this one here so we we'll just go up here to one that's halfway of this full uh, of this box basically the first grid line on the y so let's do that so to do this enter i want to say ctx dot move two so that will be the starting position starting position is x and y and then we already have the x, that's this value here, put in there, but this must be number one. And for the y, what are we going to do there? For that, I'm going to use a special command, which is y, and the y refers to this scale item here. And then we're going to say here, get pixel for value. Basically, it says, we're going to put a value in here, convert that value into a pixel, pixel. In this case, number one. So once I do this, we have that and then what we can do here is we can copy that uh, oh basically sorry I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself we don't want to do this one I want to do the bottom first and the reason why is I want to start here and then go up because if not I will be up here immediately going down but that can give us some issues later on so that's why I'm gonna do it like this CTX let me say here line 2 and then line 2 again X and Y but now we have here this value and what we're going to do more is we want to get here the other value which is this one here let's copy this put it in there all right so let's see now once we have this then i'm going to say here semicolon enter here and say ctx dot uh, stroke for drawing the line and then i'm going to say here ctx dot close path to close the path afterwards save that refresh all right so we're getting an error here on 89 let's check here 89 what's going on here of course no parentheses make sure you have a parentheses there there we are all right so if you see it here i'm not sure if you're able to see it so what i'm going to do here i'm going to just make it solid and that'll be number one save refresh so now you can see it very clearly so what i want to do now is next is the second one of course 
for that, I don't want to just copy paste this. I'm going to create a for loop here. So I'm going to do a for loop. In this for loop, I'm going to say a let i equals, remember, I want to skip the first one, which is index 0. So I'll say i equals 1. So we're going immediately to the next or the second in line in the array. So index number 1 is that. So then I'm going to say here, we keep on looping i as long as the grid lines here are equal to that. Equal to, uh, not to this, sorry, but to dot length. So the length will be 8, because we have 8 grid lines here, but we start at 1. And let's see if this will be drawn or not. If it does draw, we need to reduce this with 1. So then we say i++, but let's check if this works. Cut that out, put it in there, proper indentation. And then here's semicolon, this just to make it more better, and same here. Save this. And then uh, what I realized is before we even get ahead, we have the i. Copy the i, put the i in here. And the value should be 1 here. So we don't have to change this one, only this one here on the x value. But save this. Refresh. There we are. All right, so as you can see here, we're getting the last one, and the last one needs to be skipped as well. So how do we do this? Let's say here, minus 1. So we, we skip the first one, and we also skip the last value, whatever the length would be. There we are. And this is basically how we can create our short bit lines. So we can just remove this. And then here, maybe what we should do as well, that would be a good practice. ctx.restore. And get the original value, which was apparently 0, 0, 0. Comma and 0 0.1. There we are, and now it's matching, although I feel like it's slightly different, but anyway, that is basically the way how we can create these wonderful short grid lines here. So if you enjoyed this video, and maybe you want to do something more, like for example, you want to put in some circles on top of it, I have a nice video here where we can basically play around and add circles on top that matches with the grid line. This is Quite interesting as well is just to give it a different look and if you like to know more about it watch this video how to add circles on top of grid lines in chart.js